gun fryers going. We got the char pit going. It's another hot day during the heat wave. Some people had the day off for the Juneteenth holiday, but plenty of others had to work and in some of the hottest conditions around. I met up with workers with Grabber and Sons on this muggy day as they were busy doing yard work for a customer in Williamsville. It's hot, it's definitely hot, not used to it. Very warm, very warm, but yeah. it's all part of the job. We've only been out here for 30 minutes at this job site and you can already see it's uh, taking a toll. I usually charge 42 bucks an hour to get out Oh, that feels <laughs> so good. Oh. Volunteer firefighters also feeling the heat. Amherst held a townwide mutual training Wednesday. They had to scale back some of the exercises because it was so hot. When we have a drill like this, uh, you know, we adapt our plans based on some of that temperature and, and uh, heat related issues. And today we've got them in a pretty low level turnout gear to, to be able to sustain that. This is gonna be real life. You may fight a fire in the middle of the summer in July or June, the hotter months. And one of the hottest places you might go during a heat wave, a pizzeria where the ovens were blazing at lunchtime. 550 degrees. Wow, and that's just constantly on, right? Constantly on all day. Wow, wow. And we have six or seven ovens running at the same time. <laughs> so <laughs> it gets a little hot back here. The heat wave, really hot. But I just keep myself hydrated as much as I can. Drink a lot of vitamin water. <laughs> you gotta find a, like a balance of when you take the pizza out or when you take it like, in between, answer the phone, get, check in the ovens, and then find a little some time to just go to the fan. Those are some hard workers facing at least one more day of this heat wave. Maki Becker, 7 News, Buffalo. Well, you can follow along with all our weather updates, including hours for splash parks and cooling centers at WKVW.com or the WKVW app. And